morning. We're looking at conditions that are going to be on the sunny side today. It's actually going to be a really nice day. Sunshine, uh, feeling more like summertime here and quiet weather, but it is the start of the transition into the heat coming up for as early as tomorrow and then beyond into the rest of the weekend. So here's a look outside. We're looking at a little haze here this morning in Fargo, but beyond that, it is a pretty start. We're enjoying some clear skies and that sunrise coming up. Of course, we're enjoying the earliest sunrises of the year here this week as we are heading into the solstice, which is Tuesday. So enjoy these longer days and we'll enjoy some sunshine both this morning and into this evening before that sun sets uh, for tonight. So it should be a really nice Friday. We're looking at temperatures right now into the 40s and 50s. We've got 55 in Fargo. It's 55 in Valley City. We are at 49 in Bemidji and we're looking at 59 in Detroit Lakes. Our winds are light. We've got some calm reports coming in. There are places where we have wind out of the west or out of the north or somewhere in between and it's not very strong. If you do have some wind, it's less than 10 miles per hour. Checking out your radar and satellite map, you can see we are quiet. We're clear here in the valley and even beyond. Looking like some good travel weather. If you're heading out to the lake today, uh, you shouldn't run into any trouble with the weather. And we'll keep that going here as we head into tonight as well. We've watched this low, this big swirling area of clouds that was impacting our weather the last couple of days. That's moving well off to the east. And now we're watching out for that hot air to be pushing into the valley through the rest of the day. Here's a look at our temperatures as we go through the day today. By 9 o'clock this morning, we're back into some 60s. We'll have some numbers into some 70s by lunchtime. Looks like a pretty good lunch hour here on our Friday. Light wind. And then carrying on into the rest of your afternoon, we'll be back into some 70s to some low 80s. We'll be seeing some of our 80s most likely down in the southern half of the valley, but some of this will push northward. And really just looking pleasant. You know, we're looking at conditions that are going to be quiet into your Friday evening if you've got some plans. Those winds out of the southeast and starting to pick up a little bit. It gets breezier with some wind speeds into that 5 to 20 mile per hour range here heading into tonight. Now, overnight, that wind starts to pick up. We see it more southeasterly again, and that starts to pump in the moisture. It starts to pump in the heat coming up for your Saturday. So overnight, we'll see clouds taking over. Not necessarily a mostly cloud cloudy start tomorrow, but more clouds than we'll see today and that wind kicking in as well for tomorrow morning. And I can't rule out a shower, a thunder shower starting up on that leading edge of that really hot air pushing in. So let's take a look at that heat index potential again. A reminder that heat index is the combo of your air temperature itself and the humidity, the mugginess in the air. So when we combine the two, it does start to go up. And that feel, it's not just feeling more muggy, but it's also going to be more detrimental to your health as well because it makes it harder for you to cool down when you have that kind of heat and humidity going on. And so you can see next to me here these high, high numbers. Today again, not so bad. We're just looking at warm conditions. But Saturday, we start to get into that danger zone. And Sunday, even higher than that with heat index values values that will exceed 100 and maybe get into that one teens range on Sunday. And that does carry on into Monday. We get some relief on Tuesday. So this is going to be a three day stretch of intense heat. Again, this is your heat index. It's not your air temperature. Our air temperature in a lot of areas will be mainly in the 90s. There will be a couple of us that get to that 100 degree mark for Father's Day on Sunday and perhaps again on Monday. We won't be far off of it here at our forecast at 99. So uh, that will be tough in and of itself. But again, we have to keep in mind that there's going to be some mugginess to the air as well. Chances for rain here in the forecast. Saturday morning again, tomorrow morning, I could I can't rule out a couple of th showers or even a thunder shower and then we're organized activity happening on uh, Monday and into Tuesday and that's when we start to cool off and I wouldn't call 80s cool, but compared to where we'll be this weekend, it may feel like it. And your uh, seven day forecast here even says that we're feeling hot, hot, hot. That's for sure. <laughs> Three days in a row of heat. All right, Lisa, thank you.